Okay, so here we're going to look at an example of a statement that we prove using the method of proof by contrapositive. So this relies on the logical equivalence between the statement P implies Q and the statement not Q implies not P. So let's look at the statement we want to prove. So it'll be this following claim. If x squared minus 8x plus 11 is even, then x is odd. Okay, good. So let's see what the statement P and Q are in this case, and then furthermore what not P and not Q are. So the statement P is x squared minus 8x plus 11 is even. So not P, so not being even is the same thing as being odd. So that's x squared minus 8x plus 11 is odd. Good. And then Q is x is um, odd. And so again, not being odd is equivalent to being even. So that means not Q is x is even. So if we want to prove this using the contrapositive, we need to assume not Q and use that to prove not P. Good, so now that we've set up all of uh, the statements, let's get to proving this result. So proof, let's suppose that x is even. Good. So by definition, that means that x equals 2k for some integer k. Great. Now we can plug that value of x into this quadratic expression. So we'll say notice that x squared minus 8x plus 11 is now 2k quantity squared minus 8 times 2k plus 11. Great, which is equal to 4k squared minus 16k plus, and I'm going to split up 11 as 10 plus 1. Keeping in mind that I'm trying to get to the point where I know that this is odd. And so I've done that by noticing that I have an even number, even number, even number, plus 1. Great. Now what I can do is a factor a 2 out of this. So I factor a 2 out. And I have, this is 2 squared minus 8k plus 5 plus 1. Great. Which is equal to 2k prime plus 1, where k prime is all of the rest of that kind of absorbed into one piece. And then I should say here, which is odd. And that completes the proof.